since I do got things I got to do. So this was going to be unconventional anyway. Um, give me just a second if I can noodle this thing out here. You'll forgive me. I want to do a really shitty intro uh, while I'm trying to noodle this out. Um, so the first thing is, I know this is a little unusual. Uh, and um, it's unusual for a reason. Uh, and that is we're trying to uh, give people the tools they need to achieve their goals and trying to give leaders tools that they can use to help their people achieve their goals and they're uh, improving their skills through mentoring training and just applying some basic leadership principles and we have uh, source material for this documents uh, you can use and um, uh, if you look at uh, the chat box chat that reminds me all right. Sorry. While I'm trying to fix this, I got to uh, make sure I get this out. Hold on. <laughs> Which leads me into uh, my uh, most common uh, disclaimer, which is if I don't see your chat in the uh, Twitch, uh, please don't be upset. Most of my comms is going through uh, Discord. Um, I want to invite you to join us in our Discord. Uh, just get in contact with me. Look at that Twitch stream. And uh, we'll make sure you get all the right links. Um, next, I really want to acknowledge... Um, first, my biomass team, they're a great group of guys, uh, but I invite you to come and uh, join us as we work through this. Um, it's kind of a master level course at uh, setting and achieving your goals, um, and we wrap that all uh, into team training uh, and up the ladder. So, uh, I want to thank the biomass team for all the support they've been giving me in this, uh, for all the uh, um, encouragement that they've been uh, providing me uh, on the back end of this, and I'm hoping to uh, get a couple of those guys in here for part of this. Uh, we're going to have uh, them participating in a number of different ways, even if they're not playing. Uh, they will be getting in here commenting um, working through the uh, AAR with us um, and then I want to give a really big shout out to uh, the e Valkyrie community in discord um, just a really helpful group of guys reminded me of why I love dust 514 so much uh, for that community interaction um, real good professional uh, group of guys I'm dealing with and I cannot say enough about them um, uh, in particular I'm gonna point out uh, super Kev I've you know put him in on my uh, uh, YouTube feeds and providing links I definitely recommend you uh, watch his videos really really good stuff um, and uh, just a really great group of people over there and, um, you know, I'm hoping that uh, um, I'm able to uh, work uh, within that community and provide them this information um, simply because that's one of my uh, 10 basic uh, training objectives. And uh, that was recommended by uh, Super Kev that we've um, kind of incorporated into our stuff in that uh, basic training uh, document that we uh, linked to last week's video. Uh, I'll be referring back to that this week, um, but I did want to kind of start with uh, kind of some limitations of this um, to get a reasonable amount of um, questions uh, answered and still make forward progress. 
um, we are limiting uh, the group size to a squad size in Valkyrie uh, with a, uh, a backup alternates that uh, we can use and then we'll be filtering more people in as we develop uh, this system specifically for Valkyrie as we start looking at uh, micro team level tactics two, three pilot tactics and getting up to squad uh, size tactics and then how that can be used with uh, other squads to uh, achieve your in-game objectives um, but having said that uh, you know no, no matter what we do here um, it's not gonna improve you if you don't use this stuff and I know from personal experience um, that this stuff works exceptionally well um, I you know we've got people out there that uh, are in video game land now that uh, have used this stuff in real life and applied it and um, it works it really really does um, and like I said before I'm a big believer in uh, video game technology a big supporter and I think that technology needs to be used um, uh, for good and it, it obviously is most uh, all the time I, I can't you know I can't say where it has been used for bad um, but uh, I, I think uh, we can kind of set an example of that and uh, this technology is out there I want to you know make sure it's in the hands of the most people possible and uh, the it, it, it's going to be a good thing so um, you'll notice as we get going here this is our first run through in preparation for CCP's uh, upcoming uh, whatever game they're going to name it but Project Nova right now um, many of us are Dust514 refugees uh, looking forward very much to the uh, upcoming game so uh, what you're seeing in this initial run through is just kind of a real um, introductory level of what we're doing and if you stick with us and you can continue to build with us we'll show you how we roll this into that higher level training from that three-man Riker team into the uh, squad and so forth and so on um, but everything here this initial brush is going to be pretty amateur I mean like you're seeing right here for whatever reason I am uh, incapable of uh, doing too many more than one thing at a time uh, and uh, sometimes we pay that price in the low quality of the products other times we're just trying to uh, move quickly and uh, like the videos will be unpolished the uh, documentation will be unpolished you will catch grammatical errors uh, if you're looking for the Queen's English this is not the place for you we're trying to get um, vital information out quickly and certainly we'll take up uh, you know if, if you want to make an edit to that please by all means go right ahead um, leave that suggestion as an edit uh, in the document and if it's accepted we'll just give a check mark that's what's really nice about this uh, technology is we can all work these documents together um, let's see here can I do this okay I wonder, whoa. Yeah, come on. Okay. Ah, there we go. All right. Where are we at here? Damn it. There we go. All right, so um, what I want to share with you then uh, is a couple of things. First, I kind of want a review of uh, what we did last week um, and the purpose of last week. If you'll remember, uh, we kind of gave you a really high and high altitude look at what we were doing we uh, were introducing some kind of vague terms like decision-making process etc and we're gonna work through 
all these as we go. There's only so much uh, that we can uh, impart at a time, and uh, you know we're willing to discuss this and answer all the questions that we need to as we go. But I do need to kind of keep a, a pace going here because I don't want to make this an all-day thing. Uh, last week's purpose for me, part of that was not just to give you guys a uh, introduction. It was, um, uh, you know what? I could be friggin' talking to nobody here. Hold on. I often do this. Let's see. Uh, da 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 da. There we go. Yes, we got volume. Nice. All right. Sorry, man. Better safe than sorry. Could have been talking for five minutes and uh, kept on going. Uh, purpose of last week for me uh, was to, part of that was uh, to look at my flying skills in game. And, uh, you know, I had to review that video and it's pretty humbling. Um, and so, what that really. Uh, how I viewed those flying skills were obviously the uh, the poor piloting because I had changed my um, my setup. Uh, but I filter all that through my ten basic individual training objectives. Um, again, we shared these uh, with you guys um, last week and last week's link. So just catch last week's video. You'll see the link in the description there, or check the chat. You'll see it in the chat as well. I'm not going to uh, hit on this really heavily right now. We will be coming back to it, though. Um, <coughs> uh, what I've done this week is I've shared both the uh, our training notebook and, uh, importantly, the uh, squad sign-up in the uh, links to... Um, getting on board with us for this game. Um, I do ask you to remember that uh, we've only got the squad's worth of positions open, so please go ahead, click on that link, get in on that, um, and then make sure you read the requirements in the uh, training notebook as it outlines pretty clearly, uh, subject to change, um, you know, who gets priority for that time. I only get uh, a limited amount of time in gaming, so I really have to prioritize that. Uh, but ni nice thing about all this is um, it is something anybody should be able to take, cut easily understand uh, by watching these videos and having the interaction in them, uh, then customize for themselves, and uh, then take that and uh, use it for whatever they want to use it for, uh, whether it's uh, real life or gaming. Um, it, it's made to be very scalable and you can use this immediately and a matter of fact that's what we recommend is you use it immediately um, you know it's one of the things in the uh, basic uh, training objectives is getting that uh, wingman getting your uh, battle buddy uh, right away and one of those reasons is because you can start mentoring them in this exact same process give them the videos to watch have a discussion about these and implement it yourselves in whatever game you want to use it in uh, let's see. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this a little bit. Um, the uh, training notebook is uh, meant to help you uh, set goals. Uh, it is meant to help you uh, achieve the goals you've set by giving you a specific process. It's called the goal setting system uh, to follow. And you achieve your goals uh, basically through being able to balance um, being able to use the conscious mind to tra the, train the mind and those specific skills at a unconscious level that is you don't have to think about them it's you know think about the first time you learned how to drive um, you may have been a little bit rough on that clutch um, and uh, rough on the uh, transmission uh, uh, to say the least um, so it's kind of the same thing here we're 
what we're doing, uh, while this stuff is not rocket science, it is neuroscience though, um, what we're doing is we're laying a foundation um, for those people pressed with time. Uh, this is great for those people who have even more time to dedicate to it, even better. Um, but what we're doing is laying down a uh, basis for um, proper performance through deliberate practice. Um, I know those all can sound kind of uh, like funky words, um, and they're not made up. I didn't make those up. This is just what is known in the industry, uh, the terms that are known in the industry. So, um, you know, we can give you all the source material on that. We can, what, whatever you need, you know, we can look it up. Just Google it. You'll find a hell of a lot more resources than, uh, you know, I'm going to link you to. Um, so uh, the training notebook then uh, helps you achieve those goals by working on the conscious and the unconscious mind and one other area, and that's the self-image. Um, and that's a place even a lot of... Uh, professionals um, struggle with so this gives this entire thing at when utilized effectively gives you a system with which you can attain peak performance when you need to that is during the match you need it to matter most and then it becomes a matter of whoever has the best mental program as a team is going to win um, and obviously th that includes the fastest decision making cycles um, and better, faster decision-making cycles. I, you know, I know I'm going to get a lot of people jumping on me and correcting me. I, uh, I, again, just flying low and fast here. Um, having said that, this uh, manual is meant to you know, facilitate just a one-time touch and people can't get um, uh, further resources. Uh, for instance, like Lanny Bassam's book, um, this can stand alone, although we definitely recommend Lanny Bassam's book. Um, and if you're a serious gamer, you're going to start applying this, and you'll see how it fits into a lot of stuff you already do. Um, and you'll be like, oh, yeah, um, I already know that. That's why I do that so well. Yes, you might know that, but other beginners may not know that. Um, or you may be like, hey, I've never thought of it like that or that's the first time I've heard that but it sounds just like this it could very well be the exact same thing so um, like I said this isn't going to be a beautiful thing so let's kind of get into this a little bit uh, you can read the introduction on your own time you definitely will want to read the requirements uh, for this run uh, then we have a section here uh, for the calendar and uh, we recommend you put a link to your calendar in here or at least have access to uh, your calendar easily uh, from your history, your favorites, whatever it is. Um, and then uh, make sure you also have uh, the link to for your team um, in here as well. And as you progress, then that will obviously become the uh, uh, from your team to your squad or from your micro team to your squad and all the way up to the platoon company, et cetera, et cetera. You'll have that, uh, those calendars, training calendars there. Uh, then we have a training log example here. I've kind of partially uh, finished that, and we're not going to get too deep into any of this today, but I do want to kind of give you an idea of what that looks like. Uh, we have basically blank training log pages here, uh, then that you can, uh, and let me say, please don't take this original document, link document, out of there. Please don't take it out of there. Duplicate it all you want and uh, put it elsewhere or copy it all you want put it elsewhere but don't take this one out we've got backups but it just makes for more work all right so having said that we've got the uh, blank training log page here uh, we're looking at the goal setting system and um, all these are meant to look at the basic individual level uh, goal setting uh, but that gives you an idea of what you're going to do for yourself as a streamer uh, or a uh, uh, teammate who's uh, working with a team uh, this will get you going um, so that's a goal setting system and I'll talk a little bit more about the rest of this uh, there's two more parts to this um, 
uh, one is the mental program and then the other is the directive affirmation. We'll be getting into that uh, as we continue in this, but uh, again, we only have a limited amount of time. There's only so much of this you're going to remember um, anyway, so uh, let's get in kind of the meat of this. So I've kind of partially filled this uh, first page out, a training log example, since I've had my training already, or at least a testing of my current skill level and that was the purpose of that last video if you remember it um, so uh, the page numbers you know they're going to be numbered 1 through 21 um, those are your dedicated 21 days of practice and then you're going to take nine days sabbatical at least so these basically chunk down into one month uh, training plans and during that time off from your training you can play obviously any other video game you want uh, or you and your teammates can just go out and screw around and do anything you want. Uh, as you get higher level stuff, then there are um, other re training <laughs> requirements that can come in there for the uh, larger unit movements uh, or training uh, objectives, uh, just so you can all learn how to work together effectively and we have a good line of communication between everybody, then things are golden and they're very much enjoyable because... Uh, uh, you get to do some really, really, really neat things with it. Um, okay, so uh, time date, that's all self-explanatory, self-explanatory location. If you were taking this and you had a term tournament, then you'd want to list that as well. You can, you know, you don't have to just stick with this. You can get as detailed in this as you want. We're just kind of stripping it down to some very basic essentials that you should have. Uh, the custom match, let's, you know, whatever this is, custom match, team death match, whatever, again, get as detailed as you want. Uh, diary, this is, you know, my actual diary, played one, uh, PVP match, uh, it was, uh, you know, not, uh, it was a, it was a, uh, custom match. Um, <laughs> uh, so, this example here, um, I somehow got that mixed up with my actual one. Okay, but close enough. All right, so I uh, played one PvP match. Uh, this can be whatever. When you uh, write this down, down below, you'll see that we leave that blank space for you here. Um, so that would work down there, not up here. Uh, basic flying skills. Again, you saw that video last week. Focused on my yaw work and uh, basic mechanics of turns uh, using that ECM, blocking missiles, etc., etc., uh, and trying to learn uh, uh, the maps to some degree. So, um, I spent 30 minutes in that video. Uh, solution analysis. I'm having some issues with. Fly okay, so my solution analysis is uh, in the military what we call uh, the areas we need to improve. And so I'm just going to be like real blunt. Obviously, I've got a lot of obvious things, so I'm just kind of trying to nail, you know, what I can here. I can go really into detail, uh, but you'll see as the rest of this thing pans out um, how uh, we can keep focused on a specific process or group of processes or objectives uh, to help us get better at what we're doing. So just stick with me here. So the solution analysis, my improves things I have to do. Uh, I, you know, I got my big excuse up here. I changed controller configurations. It's legitimate, uh, but I, and I'm not even a pilot, so this is a steep learning curve for me. Uh, but then there's an annotation here. I'm seeing much more control uh, and see the sustain notes. Uh, having NDs, negligent discharges, are my primary and secondary weapon system, launching rockets unintentionally. I mean, I'm having some hard times now that I'm, uh, you know, uh, brain's only capable of processing so much so quick. Uh, and, and you saw a lot of that. Uh, it's just the way it is. Um, if you're a newer gamer, don't play video games and you get, get, get into it. Um, if you're a uh, first-time keyboard guy going to get into it or whatever, VR guy, never been into that, there's going to be a learning curve. All right. Uh, solution analysis improves. It just went over that. Um, yep. I, can, I could nitpick the hell out of that, but you saw where that was going. Um, and then here's kind of a, a way we can annotate a few things. So we get into this, uh, success analysis or the sustains as we call them in the military. Uh, my vivid visualization, of the basic controller input during any transient time or transitional time, uh, 
if I'm a passenger in your car, uh, waiting, uh, hospital room, laundry mat, whatever the hell you're doing, that transitional time is, you know, anytime you're not doing something uh, productive, uh, the time you're, you know, going to the bathroom, uh, whatever, taking out the garbage, you can vividly visualize, you know, what that is, the more mental feelings and controls you can get in your head. That's a legitimate form of practice. Again, that's not my opinion. That's just what the research tells us. Um, so uh, that viv vivid visualization has been helping. I do know that uh, because I am more comfortable with it. Nowhere where I need to be or want to be or anywhere near where I was um, with the previous system. But I can definitely feel the control. Again, hats off uh, to Super Kev for that. Um, that was just very, very helpful uh, information. Um, yep, there we go. Hat tip, Super Kev. Uh, yep, okay. That nailed that. Goal statement, continue physically practice focusing on my turns wherever I can and uh, vividly visualize uh, pantomime when I can practical, right? Uh, and continue to help out my teammates. Uh, wherever I can so if we get two people going uh, we can kind of dogfight each other we get four people going or three people two on one you kind of see how that goes um, so uh, we'll work through all that uh, don't forget that sign up sheet because uh, <laughs> uh, that's where also we're going to put those roles who's going to be uh, uh, playing what role in this um, so logistic spots whatever uh, they're they're all open Okay, let's see what else I want to hit on here. Uh, okay, so then also what I want to do is kind of show you how I would tie this in to my uh, basic individual training objectives. All right, so one, get to know your cockpit. Am I getting to do that? Yes, absolutely. Every time I'm getting in there, every time I'm going through that vivid visualization uh, every time I'm trying to press those buttons in my mind, uh, correctly use that pitch, the yaw. Um, every time I don't have a negligent discharge, every time I, you know, picture myself doing these things perfectly, um, the better off I'm going to be during the game. Again, not my opinion. Fact. Uh, th they got the studies to back that up. Uh, get to know your weapons. Yep, you're getting to do that, uh, I guess, more than the cockpit. I got the cockpit down mostly, uh, getting to know the weapons, the buttons, kind of getting to know my environment. That's good. I'm, I'm getting that experience. Roll and turn, I'm definitely working on achieving that, and I'm getting better at it, so I achieved that. Uh, finishing the fight, I try to do that the best I can. As you look in the video, sometimes I lose people, uh, especially in this early stage where I'm having a hard time getting turned around or getting turned around. Uh, and getting met mixed up in direction. Um, so that's going to be uh, still another area you got to continue to work on. Uh, definitely managing capacitor, getting pretty good. I won't say great at it, but for my level of skill, I'm okay at it. I'm not burning it out all the time. Uh, using my comms wheel, haven't done that yet, so I know I need to work on that. So numbers one through five, um, I'm hitting and working on. I uh, have not mastered any of those. I uh, have not worked on number six. Uh, get death, get used to it. It's part of the game, absolutely. I'm going to also add to that this. Um, when you come into this, uh, if you are not a um, previous pilot in some other game um, or you're just kind of new into gaming, I have seen a lot of more mature people thinking that they can get into this and they certainly can um, without bruised egos and um, you certainly can uh, it seems to be um, a steep challenge for most people getting the crap kicked out of them and uh, if this game is anything like EVE Online or Dust514 and I have heard it is I have been forewarned that it will take some time you need to get used to getting gut stomped, curb stomped, stomped in general. Um, but the nice thing is, is you keep focused on these goals, your individual goals. And as you keep focused on your team goals, no matter how chaotic it is, and the team pulls together, you will often find a half 
half-assed, decently organized, and half-competent group uh, will be able to outfight a uh, large group. And the better you work together as a team, the uh, better you will um, and quicker you will uh, achieve success. So, uh, and death is just part of that, guys. You're going to die a lot in the beginning. Swallow that ego, swallow that pride. Uh, as we say in DAR, uh, F your KDR, baby. Um, we really don't care about it. What we really care about is that team play, and uh, we work together to help each other um, increase performance. All right. Um, Getting involved in the community, I'm definitely doing that. And if you decide to join, I encourage you. I encourage you strongly to get involved in that community. Uh, it's kind of a uh, prerequisite, I think, here anyway, because uh, you need, do need preference does go to the streamers. And if you're going to stream, uh, you can shoot a video out to a community uh, that isn't going to kill you. Um, and then uh, find a battle buddy ASAP. In this command, uh, in this case, it uh, I guess it wouldn't be a uh, battle buddy it would be a wingman find a wingman ASAP uh, support your team efforts by being a team player okay we're forming the team now as I mentioned uh, if you check in the link you'll see that um, down in the discussion you can sign up for that uh, team now uh, we'll need a primary and a secondary team and we'll be doing a lot of cross training and you can move up and down primary as you choose. Uh, so uh, I'll quit with that. And I'm just going to hop over here. And I want to really quickly hit. Uh, again, this is the blank training log page. You're going to need, when you make your copy of this document and move it to your own folder, not this document, but when you move it to your own folder, um, you're going to want to make a total of 21 days of this. And every time you train, that's, you know, that's going to be a uh, page number for you 1 through 21 um, and then you can uh, initially here just kind of hang loose on that 30 we'll, when we get to the uh, advanced training kind of stuff we'll uh, we'll start filling in those dates with you with other kind of fun stuff as well and of course there's other kind of stuff you can do in between uh, the next thing we're going to look at next time we're in here is the uh, goal setting system um, what you're seeing now down here was uh, my goals for my initial goals for myself in squad. So what the uh, what I want you to do is uh, once you get in here and you've made your copy, I want you to get in here. If you're a, you should be a new e Valkyrie pilot, I uh, am going to ask you to come in here and uh, part of the team you want to be part of that team this is part of that work um, come in here and fill this out for yourself as you do what I'm doing getting into e Valkyrie go through those tutorials um, get used to the uh, Wraith ship and uh, come and join me in game as we train together and our goal here um, my goal I want to get into PvP with the rest of the community as quickly as possible so I just will find uh, a role that I am uh, suitable for and um, then start diversifying into whatever else the team needs or I could go with the role I like which is I think I I, I don't know yet maybe you uh, Valkyrie veterans can tell me you start with the Wraith and you work your way over to whatever else um, I could deal with that so then uh, uh, we can work those skills regardless and quickly build up to I'm sure some other ship um, so uh, I'll work over that if you want to join me or even if you're just watching this video and you're like hey I want to try this out with uh, my game my thing by all means like I said all this stuff is made uh, to be uh, something you can duplicate and scale very quickly um, you're gonna want to keep uh, these digital copies in some shared drive uh, primarily so uh, you can use your documents as examples um, in mentoring 
uh, to I'm gonna have to go find out what the hell that was uh, in mentoring to uh, help build the team you build up your teammates and uh, if you want to build your own team by all means we uh, invite you to do that uh, competition is good um, so we'll look at goal setting uh, next time so just when you get to the document uh, give that a look over or just pause this video um, and then we'll start getting into a little bit of that mental management side uh, running that mental program the next time we go um, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut that down here um, I do uh, encourage you please to go visit our affiliates our friends our teammates over at biomass.net they are uh, all things um, gaming and uh, uh, movie fun movie uh, entertainment uh, related um, with a specific focus on the upcoming Project Nova uh, and um, if you want a uh, kind of a more um, mature and educational uh, walk, not all the time, <laughs> but enough, uh, you can uh, you, you can go visit that uh, them at uh, biomass that biomass dot net. Um, we got links with them everywhere. If you go look in our Twitch, you'll see them down below. Uh, I encourage you, if you've been fence sitting uh, on VR technology, uh, stop. Um, go get it, hop in there. Um, and then I would say whether or not you're hitting into VR, you can still get um, uh, eValkyrie uh, for the PS4 or your PC without the uh, VR so just get in here join us right away um, uh, start working with other people and um, we're just kinda going through this step by step uh, building teams and again you can use this anywhere you want uh, let me check make sure I haven't uh, missed anything yep running that mental program I said training log what was my link here? Tie back into training log. Uh, it's the conscious work, um, which we already talked about. Uh, and then, as promised, uh, we will tie this into some of those uh, e-athletic guys. Forgive me if I can't remember the website. I will make sure I have the uh, links posted uh, in this one as well. If you go back to last week, you'll see I had the same problem. Um, I do apologize. Not intentional. Uh, again, only so much bandwidth available here. It's not you. Seriously, it is me. Um, we'll post those links. We'll talk about those videos, how that integrates and in how what we're doing here integrates into the operational and the strategic side of things. So um, whether you're a uh, player or you're a coach, um, uh, you're going to want to come in here and take a look at this because this will make you much better, help you increase your team's uh, skill set and winning uh, dramatically. All right, so that will be it for me. And uh, I will talk to you next time, next week. Uh, we are going Battlefield 3 Saturday morning. Um, and we have not yet decided when the Valkyrie will, what times Valkyrie will go, sign up. Uh, we'll get as wide a spread as we can. This can go pretty wide pretty quick. Um, if you follow the training program, uh, you can leapfrog this really, really, really quick into everything else you're doing. It ties in really well. All right, so that's it. Uh, Battlefield 3 Saturday morning because got to keep that first-person shooter going. My goal here is uh, get this information out. Um, not necessarily become a uh, great um, e Valkyrie pilot, but I do want to get into the uh, PvP side of this very, very badly. 
Um, and, uh, you know, it'll be good because uh, I know when uh, Nova launches or yeah, Nova launches, I will uh, I experience the same feelings of getting smashed by uh, all the great players that are, very, are already out there and good uh, are good mouse and keyboard players. All right. Uh, so that'll do it for me. Uh, please do click those links. Take a care or take advantage of those links. Um, uh, we're not taking them down. They're yours. Whether or not you come and join us as a team, uh, we do want you to use this stuff. Uh, do uh, continue to um, come in here and uh, watch these videos. Uh, get the continued updates to this training notebook. Remember, we've got uh, really three more sections we're going to add to this. Uh, and uh, we'll be um, doing that every time we broadcast uh, whenever we can. Uh, so I didn't get to play any game today, really. Uh, I just got to uh, do that work and try to get this video in. Um, so uh, that's going to do it for me, and uh, I will see you later. Bye-bye.